if you watch TypeScript versus JavaScript, is a, like a split in the community over types, right? That seems to be stabilizing now. It's not necessarily a split. There are certainly plenty of people who don't use TypeScript, but just use the original JavaScript notation, just like there are many people in the Python world who don't use type annotations and don't use static type checkers. No, I know, but there is a bit of a split between TypeScript and JavaScript, old school JavaScript, ES, whatever. Five, well, in the four. JavaScript world, transpilers are sort of the standard way of working anyway, which yeah. is why TypeScript being a transpiler itself is not a big deal. And transpilers, for people who don't know, it's, it's exactly the thing you said with MyPy. It's, it's the code, I guess you call it pre-processing code that translates from one language to the other. And that's part of the culture, part of the workflow of the JavaScript community, so. That's right. At the same time, an interesting development in the JavaScript slash TypeScript world at the moment is that there is a proposal under consideration. It's only a stage one proposal that proposes to add a feature to JavaScript where just like Python, it will ignore certain syntax when uh, running the JavaScript code. And what it ignores is more or less a superset of uh, the TypeScript annotation syntax. Interesting. And so that would mean that eventually, if you wanted to, you could take TypeScript uh, and you could shove it directly into a JavaScript interpreter without transpilation. The interesting thing in the JavaScript world, at least the web browser world, the web browsers have changed how they deploy and uh, they, they sort of update their JavaScript engines much more quickly than they used to in the, the, the early days. And so there's much less of a need for transpilation in JavaScript itself, because most browsers just support the most recent version of ECMAScript. Just on a tangent of a tangent, do you see, if you were recommend somebody use a thing, would you recommend TypeScript or JavaScript? I would recommend uh, TypeScript. Just because of the strictness of the typing. It's an enormously helpful extra tool that helps you sort of keep your head straight about what your code is actually doing. I mean, it's, it's, it, it helps with editing your code. It helps with ensuring that your code is not too incorrect. And it's actually quite compatible with JavaScript, never mind this syntactic sort of hack that is still years in the future, but any library that is written in pure JavaScript can still be used from TypeScript programs. And also the other way around, you can write a library in TypeScript and then export it in a form that is totally consumable by JavaScript. That sort of compatibility is, uh, is sort of the key to, this, to the success of TypeScript. Yeah, it, just to look at it as almost like a biological system that's evolving. It's fascinating to see JavaScript evolve the way it does. Well, maybe we should consider that biological systems are just uh, engineering systems too, right? Yes. Just but, very advanced but, <laughs> with, with but, more history. But it's almost like the most visceral in the JavaScript world because there's just so much code written in JavaScript that for its history was messy. If you talk about bugs per line of code, I just feel like JavaScript eats the cake or whatever the terminology is. It, it beats Python by a lot in terms of number of bugs, meaning like way more bugs in JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And then and then the obviously the browsers are developing. I mean, just there's so much active development. It feels a lot more like evolution where a bunch of stuff is born and dies and there's experimentation and debates versus Python is more um, all that stuff is happening, but there's just a longer history of stable working giant software systems written in Python versus JavaScript is just a giant, beautiful, I would say, mess of code. It's a very different culture and to some extent differences in culture are random, but to some extent they the differences have to do with the environment. Yeah. 
Uh, and the fact that JavaScript is primarily the language for uh, developing web applications, especially the client side, and the fact that it's basically the only language for developing web applications makes that community sort of just have a different nature than the community of other languages. Plus the graphical component um, and the fact that they're deploying it on all kinds of uh, shapes of screens and devices and all that kind of stuff, it just creates a beautiful chaos. 